Hey everyone, it's Chastity with Life with the Monicos and we're going to do the April budget update. Uh, and these are starting to get fun. Alright, stay tuned. Is, we're going to say April the 14th. I will try to upload this as close to the date as possible. Uh, we have completely paid May, May. We have completely paid all of May's bills. Um, so it is again, Jeremy, what day is it? What number is it? 14th. 14th. Okay, 14th. So it's April 14th. We still have a couple extra pays. Uh, now I said I was going to put a whole bunch of money on the Jeep Patriot. Monday. Uh, thankfully, I did not get to the bank. Some other stuff came up. No big deal. But somehow, someone forgot to budget in prom. Whoops. We do um, buy Autumn's prom dress and when Austin eventually goes we will buy I mean we bought him suits before we will buy him tux we like to do that we do give them a budget so we try not to spend like over a hundred and f well this this budget was like 200 bucks we're not there's no reason to go over $200 for a dress uh, you haven't looked hard enough or you haven't found the best deal because you can find a dress for less um so I had to take money out for that and I was going to put extra on the Jeep Patriot but instead um I went and bought a vanity for the bathroom uh which we are in the process of remodeling our house I think I've told everyone like there's reasons why I don't have walls and there's reasons why they're still paneling up behind me because it just hasn't happened yet so I went and got a vanity now the next pay will of course continue to work on the bi-weekly budget but that extra money I'm wondering if I should completely do the downstairs bathroom slash laundry area so I can get that done so I can get the washer and dryer where they need to be so I can put doors to my porch so I can start working on my porch I'm about to sell everything off my porch also um so that's what we're doing with the budget everything is completely paid for in May and like I said that extra back in March when we did have that third paycheck Jeremy didn't use his whole paycheck. Uh, we actually were able to take the bi-weekly budget and on that third paycheck, we actually took out all the payments. I think Jeremy, me, the dog, um, home maintenance and home supplies weren't like filled their $20 or whatever in. Uh, so he actually had enough money left over from buying his, um, his purchase to actually go down those cards and pay them all. So that got us a little ahead also. That's why it's not even the first paycheck in April and May's already done and over with. Now, each paycheck we get in April, we are going to go down the cards. We're going to put the money where it belongs. My problem is... My problem is paying off that Jeep Patriot. I don't want to because I don't want the Jeep Patriot, but I have to, I have to. So I think what we're gonna do is because so much stuff does need done around the house and the next room is roughly gonna cost like $1,000. Uh, if I haven't mentioned it before, my dad is a contractor, so I've grown up doing carpentry work. Since my husband has met me and he met me a very, very, very young age. He has learned everything you can about carpentry because he hasn't had a choice. So he is going to be doing our plumbing. He's going to be doing our electric. He's going to be doing all the fun stuff. So we're probably going to be ripping and tearing um, in the next month or so on that room. So I don't know whether to 
do every other paycheck for the Jeep and the bathroom. And this is all cash flow. We are cash flow. If you can't do it with cash, don't do it. Um, so I don't know whether to just take the next two paychecks and boom it out of the way and it be gone. Or if I want to take this paycheck, grab a couple things that we're going to need that we can buy right now. And then the next paycheck, put it all in a Jeep Patriot and then go from the next paycheck, put it back in the bathroom and go from there. That way I feel like I'm actually accomplishing something. Um, but we are working as much overtime as we can. May is paid for and we are up in the air about the Jeep Patriot or the bathroom cash flow, but prom is done. She has her dress, everything's done, we're good. We don't have to worry about a hair appointment because for some odd reason I got <clears throat> the talent of doing hair. So we don't have to pay for that either. So, like I said, drop it in the comments. What do you guys think I should do? Should I do the bathroom slash laundry area first? Or should I pay on the Jeep Patriot? You guys let me know. You know what I want to do. Yeah, you do. All right. Hope this helped you out. If you guys have questions on what we're doing or why we're doing them, drop them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them. All right. Bye.